Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here then hello my name is Kate. So as you already know from the title of this video I'm going to be doing an ASOS and H&M haul. I asked you guys on Instagram which brands you like to see and the majority of the answers were ASOS and H&M. You don't have to ask me twice to do a H&M haul because they are just one of my favourite brands especially during the winter. I just feel like they have some really great knitwear, some great coats and obviously they are such good value for money as well and I find that 9 times out of 10 with H&M I am happy with my purchase. Purchase. So a lot of you guys said with ASOS you wanted me to do a haul because you were struggling to find stuff on there and I completely agree with you all because I was searching for a long time. I actually had to get B to help me out because obviously with ASOS they have so many different brands, they have so much stuff. It is quite hard to kind of go through and filter everything down. So yeah I'm not going to lie ASOS was a bit of a struggle but I have picked up some really nice pieces from there and anyway you guys are going to see I'm going to go through everything one by one. So yeah go subscribe, like, leave a comment down below it means the absolute well to me and let's get into this video before we start actually i've got myself a cup of miso soup and how much does it look like tea it's kind of weirding me out because it looks like tea but it like tastes pretty much the opposite of tea all right i'm just looking through everything now and we have got a lot to get through and like all of my other hauls i tried everything on already so i can give you guys a really good full review on the way it fits and the way it feels so let's get into it okay i'm gonna go for this hoodie first this hoodie is from h&m and it is this really nice oversized khaki basic plain hoodie you've got your drawer strings at the front a big kangaroo pocket and the inside is nice and fleecy as well I find h&m hoodies can be a little bit hit or miss sometimes i've returned them if they do feel a little on the thin side but this one seems perfect i also really liked the fit of this as well i picked this one up in a size medium and yeah i just really liked the color i thought it was very autumnal i really love a good hoodie in the winter i think they look so cool layered underneath coats and they're just a really good way of keeping warm and looking nice at the same time they're also great because if it rains you've got a hood you can pop the hood up and you're good to go. I've got my order up on the screen here and annoyingly it's not coming up with the prices, it's coming up with the member prices. If you're not a H&M member already, make sure you are because you always will get money off your order. It's free to be a member, super easy, really recommend it. So with the member discount, this was £14.79. So to match with this hoodie, I've got these khaki leather trousers. So they have a nice elasticated waist and they've got like these seams going down at the middle and the inside is this nice kind of fleecy material so super snug and comfortable and yeah I picked those up initially because I really liked the way the model was styled with them I think they styled it with the khaki hoodie I just showed you guys and a trend I'm really loving at the moment is like all one color outfit so like all nudes or all greens and yeah I thought they would look really cool together styled with like some trainers or something like that as you guys know my wardrobe is not very colorful I kind of feel like khaki is about as colorful as it gets as it is a color I am actually really fond of and I think it's such a great like I said autumnal color so I got these in a size four and these were a little bit of a squeeze to get on i'm not gonna lie but once they are past the bum you're fine and they fit really well yeah it's just a good thing it's got the elasticated waist so on the website these are described as leggings with creases and i don't know if h&m have just done that because they had creases in them anyway so they wanted to make it a design feature or if it was like an intentional thing i've mentioned before how i don't really like leggings to be creased but with these ones, I do feel like it kind of works. It just makes them look a little bit more casual and a bit more like a trouser as well, I guess. And yeah, somehow the creases on these just don't bother me as much as they normally would. So I will be keeping these. I also just think they'll make such a good change to my black leather leggings, which I just wear all throughout the winter. So having khaki will make a bit of a change. And I think this would also look really cool, just paired with an all black outfit, khaki leggings, big black coat. I think that will look amazing. So with the members discount, these were £17.74, which I think is very good value for money. So next up we have this beautiful dress from ASOS. It's actually from And Other Stories, but yeah, I saw it on ASOS and I just fell in love. I love the colour, I love the shape to it. It's got this really beautiful feature in the middle where you kind of wrap yourself round and then tie in the middle and then it's got two slits going up either side of the leg and when I saw this on the model I just thought it looked so elegant and so classy. A great thing about And Other Stories is that you know the quality is going to be great because that is reflected in the price tag. I think this was £95 which obviously is expensive for a dress but the quality on this is incredible. It feels so thick. It's really figure hugging. I love how tight the sleeves are on the arms and you can just tell it's 
an expensive dress. I actually put this up on my stories the other day because I was worried it was going to go out of stock before I filmed this haul. And lots of you guys messaged me asking if you think that this is work appropriate. And I think it depends on your office and your job, but I do think that this would make a great work dress. You could pair this with some really nice smart boots, a long line black coat, and it would just look so gorgeous. Obviously, I don't work in an office, so my plan for this dress is to wear to like meetings or out to dinner or just any slightly smarter formal occasion and yeah i know that this dress is going to be in my wardrobe for a long time so yeah like i said this was 95 pounds and i got this in a size extra small next up we have this set of two tops from asos and the brand is glamorous which is a brand i don't think i've ever purchased from before but i thought i'd give it a go so you have the black and it is long sleeve bodysuit i like the fact that it's a thong bodysuit it means you're not going to get any vpl and yeah i just really liked the neckline of these it's kind of like a squarish neckline and I really like those kind of necklines because they're something a little bit different and you're able to dress them up and down. You'll see in the try on clip, I tried on the black, really liked the black. The only thing is I'm not really a fan of the cream. It's supposed to be white but I would say it's more of like a creamy ivory. It's not too see-through but there's just the material does feel quite thin and I feel like it's quite hard to get away with thin materials when it is a white or a light colour. So yeah, I personally wouldn't wear the white so I'm going to take these ones back because there's no point keeping it if I'm not going to wear the white. Yeah, it is a bit of a shame because I feel like if this was thicker, I would love it because the shape is gorgeous. But yeah, I will be returning these ones. So I got these in a size six and they were 26 pounds. So what's that, 13 pounds each. Yeah, I feel like for £13 they should be slightly thicker. Next up we have some pyjama bottoms. These are from H&M and I just think they're such a cute colour. The colour on the website is described as mole and that just melts my heart. I think moles are so cute. So yeah, it's this beautiful kind of like brownie pink colour. And I just thought that these would be perfect for lounging around the house. Using them as like a working from home outfit. So they have a nice stretchy waistband, they have cuffs at the end, which I think is always a very flattering style when it comes to joggers and loungewear. The inside is nice and fleecy, they're not very thick, so they're definitely not a jogger, they are more of a pyjama. But yeah, I personally wear pyjamas more as loungewear rather than actual pyjamas in bed. I prefer just to wear a big t-shirt in bed. So yeah, I would style these with some big cosy socks and a tight long sleeve t-shirt. I kind of have this rule when I'm working from home, I have to have at least one tight item of clothing on. I think it's because if I don't wear one tight thing, I do kind of feel like a bit more slobbish. I feel less productive. I don't know why. And I also do think it's just more flattering when you have one tight thing and one loose thing. So yeah, I'd either wear leggings with a baggy hoodie or joggers with a tight top. Picked these up in an extra small and they were £9.86. Absolute bargain. I'm definitely going to be keeping these. So next up we have this ASOS design shirt and I really just loved the colours of this. It's kind of got nice browns and and this pop of blue as well just thought it was really cute very autumnal and it would just be a really perfect kind of casual autumnal outfit i can just imagine this paired with some big chunky biker boots maybe some leather leggings and a cute little beanie hat that's the kind of outfit i would just wear for like pumpkin picking or something cute like that it also makes a really great lounging around the house kind of outfit if you just pair it with some cozy leggings and some slippers as well so i'm really impressed with the material on this it's almost like a brushed kind of pyjama material so really nice on the skin very comfortable and it's definitely quite a wintry shirt it has got a good thickness to it so yeah super cozy i picked this up in a size 12 so it'd be a little bit oversized on me next up i'm going to do the top that i'm currently wearing because i know i'm going to get loads of questions about it in the comments so this top is from h&m moving my hair out so you can see all of the detailing but I just thought that this was super pretty and a nice girly blouse, perfect for the winter. So as you can see, it's got these beautiful little ruffles on the shoulders, around the wrists, and then it's got this embroidery going down at the front. And then you've got like a little lace trim here as well. And yeah, I just thought that this was super cute and it would look lovely with jeans. And it's just a nice pretty top to wear that has a bit of interest and is different to my normal basics. I have so many basics in my wardrobe, but not a lot of kind of pretty or different tops. So I thought this would be perfect because I'm always going to look in my wardrobe for something like this and I can never find it. So this was H&M and this was only £19.72, which I think is a really good price considering all of the detailing oh i also didn't mention it's quite a nice like lightweight cottony material and this would make another great top for work if you just tucked this into some chinos or you could tuck this into like a long skirt a pair of some smart shoes this would be a great office shirt oh and by the way i picked this up in a size six next up we have this black 
long line dress this is from asos and it's a very similar vibe to the and other stories one but in black and not as expensive as well so it has a slight turtleneck which i find really flattering it's one of my favorite necks in the winter it's all the way down and have we got a slit i don't think we do oh yeah we do we have a very small slit just on the side of the leg there so this is from a brand called jacqueline de Jong, which i haven't heard of before and i thought this would be quite a good comparison to the and other stories dress the material is a ribbed material it's very soft um, definitely nowhere near as thick as the And Other Stories one. It's a bit more of a loose knit. Saying that though, it does still feel really good quality. I also really liked the way this fit. I thought it was very flattering and it looked very chic. Some ways I can think of styling this would be with like some chunky biker boots. You can belt it in at the middle. A nice leather jacket over the top. Or you could even wear it like a long line teddy coat or something like that. This dress with it being black and a little bit less kind of structured compared to the And Other Stories dress. I feel like this would be easier to dress down. Whereas with the And Other stories worn i would probably keep that to more smart occasions but i feel like this dress here would look really great with like converse trainers but then you could also easily style it with heels so this is a little bit more versatile and it doesn't come with the and other stories price tag this was only 32 pounds and i picked this one up in an extra small next up we have this h&m basic white shirt if you watch my vlogs you would have seen me um show you guys this as i picked this one up a couple of weeks ago i haven't actually worn it yet but i am excited to start styling it but like for the girl who has every single basic imaginable up until now i didn't have a clean crisp white shirt as i feel like they are quite a hard thing to get right you can either look like you're in your dad's shirt going to school or they can be a bit too linen-y and floaty which is obviously more suitable to the summer and yeah i thought that this one was perfectly in between it's not too structured and it's not too floaty either i really loved the fit of this i thought it looked quite expensive this is a large i got this oversized on me because i wanted it to be long just so that when i wore jumpers over the top of it it could like peep down underneath and have that really nice layered effect in the try on clips you'll see i've styled this i think it was just with leather leggings and boots and I just really like that look, especially with it being so long. I just think it looks really cool. Even though I got it a few sizes up, the fabric isn't too excessive and it's not too thick either. So if you did want to tuck it in to some jeans and have that more smart, smart and neat look, you'd be absolutely fine. You won't have loads of material underneath all gathered up. I know I keep on saying it, but again, if you work in an office, this would be a really great staple. I just feel like there's so many ways you can start a plain white shirt. And this was only $14.99, which I think is really good. I don't think I've shown you guys any knitswear yet have i oh my god yeah i'm gonna show you guys this so this is from h&m and it is the thickest softest like cuddliest turtleneck jumper and oh my god i wish i could just pass this through the screen and let you guys touch it because it is so so nice to touch it's a very thick knit and it's almost brushed as well which just feels so lovely so yeah this is just your basic oversized knit you have nice long sleeves coming in at the bottom and then it's kind of like a mid length i wouldn't say it's long wouldn't say it's short either and then you have this really nice big collar around the front so this knit is only £30, which I think is insane for the quality. I would happily pay a lot more money for a jumper of this quality. So yeah, that's really good. I can't believe it's only £30. I thought that this would be part of like their premium ranges and be around like £50. This is going to keep you very warm. It's the kind of thing you could wear like a top underneath and then just this without a coat. Or when it is super cold, you can obviously put a coat over the top. But even though I absolutely love the way it feels, I'm not 100% if I'm sold on the way it looks on me. I think the thing is with turtlenecks on me is I don't think my neck is long enough and I end up looking like I'm in a bit of a neck brace sometimes. So I often find I have to play around with the neck quite a bit just so it sits a little bit lower. So yeah, I almost wish that this was like a dropped neck. So you know when it kind of hangs low, but because of the structure of the material, it kind of just sits up high. And I think some girls just look so stunning with the high neck and it really frames the face nicely, but on me and my face shape and my neck, just don't think it quite works which is such a shame because i like i said i think it's such a beautiful look so yeah not 100 percent sure if i'm going to be keeping this or not i'm going to try it on again and see how i feel and i picked this one up in a size medium um i always go up a size in knitwear just because i like them to be cozy but i wouldn't actually say you need to size up particularly in this one because it is already nice and roomy okay so next up we have some h&m mum jeans these are just completely plain black box standard mum jeans um you'll see in the trial clip how they fit and i'm so surprised at myself that I've never tried H&M jeans. I am always 
either in Topshop jeans or New Look jeans. And considering the amount of stuff I have from H&M, these are my first pair of jeans. And I was really, really pleasantly surprised. I absolutely loved the way they fit. They fit really nicely just above the belly button, quite high-waisted, which is a very flattering look. With mum jeans, for them to work on me, they definitely have to be super high-waisted rather than just normal high-waisted, if that makes sense. Just because I am quite short, I think it's a bit more flattering when it elongates your body. And yeah, they are just the perfect mum fit. They're not too straight legged, they're not too baggy, they are just perfect. So as you can see here, I did have to roll up the bottom, but I do that with all my mum jeans. I kind of just like the way it looks really. I just think it's more flattering when it comes in at the ankle rather than going slightly out. So you always know it's a good pair of jeans when they have four real pockets, no fake pockets. And you've also got belt sleeves, which is amazing because it gives you the option to style it with a belt. And for me, the material is kind of perfect because it's not too thick, so it's quite rigid. Um, and it's not thin, so it feels flimsy and cheap. It's really good in the middle. And yeah, I don't think I can fold them. I sized up one to an eight. Um, I am normally a size six in jeans, but I feel like with mum jeans, I always prefer to have a little bit of extra room rather than not enough room. And these were, oh my God, these were only 20 pounds. Insane, only 20 pounds for a pair of jeans. I'm really impressed with that. I wonder how they're going to wash though, because right now, they're very, very black, and I wonder if they're kind of gonna get faded over time. I think that's one of my favorite pieces of this haul. I'm very impressed with the price and the quality and the fit. So it's a win-win-win situation. So next up, we have another H&M knit jumper. It is this beautiful kind of like speckledy gray wool. This is what I'm talking about, right? When I like collars that aren't too high. So it has a bit of a collar, but it comes up to about here, so you still can see a bit of neck, and this won't give you neck brace vibes. This gives me flattering vibe. Love the color, like the sleeves, they're kind of quite like big and balloony, and they come in like this. So this is an alpaca wool blend. Not going to lie, it is quite scratchy material. If I compare it to, to this jumper, for example, which is the really soft one I was speaking about earlier, completely different feels. And maybe this one feels a bit more scratchy because it is a real wool. Yeah, so this one here isn't a real wool which is probably why it feels a lot more kind of soft and it doesn't feel synthetic in a bad way but it does feel synthetic so yeah this is like your proper woolly granddad jumper in fact i could see my granddad wearing this to be honest so yeah i would say if you do buy this wear a long sleeve top underneath otherwise you are going to be quite irritated but personally that's not really an issue so i like to wear tops underneath my knits anyway as it means you don't have to wash them as often and obviously you don't want to be washing your knits loads because it will affect the longevity of them but yeah i absolutely loved how thick and oversized this was i thought it looked so cozy this gives me such wintry christmas vibes and i can imagine this paired with some skinny jeans some big boots cute little hat would look so cute so yeah despite the scratchiness i am going to be keeping this so this is a size medium and this was 40 pounds next up we have this knitted dress Super Super long goes all the way down to the calves and then it's got this big collar on again so my original plan for this was to actually just tie it in with a belt in the middle and then when I actually tried it on that didn't really work out the material was just far too thick just so much excess and didn't look right so in the end I just ended up wearing it plain with some boots and that actually looked really nice I was slightly worried that Maybe it would drown me or give me like no sort of shape. But I actually think it just looks really cute and cozy. I kind of had imagined this with a huge big teddy coat. And I just think that would look so nice, so wintry. And you'd also be really snug. I got this in an extra small. Definitely don't go up a size because it is already quite big. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I did. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. They also had this in some other colours as well, which I might pick up. I'm kind of tempted to get this in a black. So this was £34. I just realised I've got three dresses in this haul, which is so unlike me. Actually, I've got three dresses and no coats. Oh, we also have three items with colour. Got the two car keys and then the pink. That is just about as crazy as it gets on this channel. Not sure why I'm waffling. Let's go on to the next item. <laughs> we have a lounge set. And you guys will know if you watch my vlogs, I love a good matching lounge set. So I thought I would try one from ASOS. So I picked up this matching set. This is the top. So it has a bit of like a cow neck. It kind of just like nicely hangs just here. And it's just your basic sweater really. And then these here are the matching joggers. So they are a nice bright white color, which I really like. And I just quite liked the way that the top 
top was slightly different with the high neck just making it look slightly more dressy for loungewear obviously you can tell that this is a lounge set but I just thought with this high neck it did look slightly more put together like I said before working from home I wear a lot of loungewear so I like to have a good variety of materials and styles and I thought this would be a nice addition so my only issue with it is the pockets I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera you'll be able to see it in the try on clip but when you wear it, you can see the outline of the pockets just because the material isn't the thickest. And in my opinion, that just slightly cheapens them. But I'm not sure if that's just me being overly fussy and I know they are just loungewear, so it's not like you're gonna be wearing them out to the house. I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna try them on again. I showed B and B said they were absolutely fine and B is normally quite fussy with that sort of thing. So I feel like if B said they're fine, they are fine. And then my other thing with them is that they don't have cuff joggers. I had to kind of like roll them over and I do like a good cuff on my jogger. So, so yeah, I feel like that's two things I'm not 100% sure about and I'm a big believer in if you don't love something, then there's no point in having it. You might as well go and search for something else that you are going to love because otherwise it's just a bit of a waste and you're gonna find yourself replacing it further down the line with something you like even more. So yeah, I feel like I'm just answered my own question. I probably won't be keeping these. And they were 25 pounds each, so that's 50 pounds for the entire set. And I just feel like for £50, you want to get something a little bit more for your money. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think, especially with the try on clip. I'll be interested to know your opinions and if I'm being too fussy. Okay, so on to the last two pieces and I picked up some accessories because winter accessories are one of my favourite things. Things. I think they can really make an outfit and add so much interest to what can be quite a plain boring outfit So I start off with this scarf. This scarf is from H&M and this is only $9.99 and it is the softest thing ever If somebody told me that this was cashmere, I'd believe them and yeah I just really like the color of it It's this really beautiful kind of beigey sandy color and yeah look it's just really nice You can obviously wear it just plain flowing down like this or you could wear it like half over the shoulder and there's also enough material to kind of make it into a bit of a blanket which is a look I really like. I personally don't normally go for thin scarves just because I really like to have the ability to wrap up properly in them and I think the more material you have the more expensive it looks. So yeah really happy with this scarf. I think it's really nice and then I also picked up a hat. I have so many hats on H&M. I've got like black bobble hats, black hats, grey hats. In fact all of my hats are from H&M so I picked this one up here which is is kind of like a matching material to the scarf really it's this beautiful camely beige color and then it has a little sticker here which says i'm not even going to try and pronounce that but it's a french word this was this was only 6.99 it's a really thick material so again it feels expensive it's going to keep you really warm oh my god this feels so snug i haven't actually tried this on yet let's take the label off i really like this hat I think the sticker for me, the sticker makes it, gives it a little bit of something, something, something. And yeah, together, they just match perfectly. They weren't like together in a set or anything like that. Um, it just happened to be that they matched. And obviously I've only had this on for about five seconds, but it doesn't feel itchy. There's nothing worse than an itchy head when you're wearing a hat. But yeah, anyway, those were the last two pieces of this haul. I absolutely love filming these hauls because I feel like I'm just chatting to my friends and it just feels really low key and easy. And as always, I do really welcome back like constructive criticism. It's so helpful for me as a creator when you guys kind of give me advice. Like if you want the trial clips to be longer. Somebody mentioned the other day that the autofocus on the camera was really annoying and they were right. It was really annoying. I think I fixed that problem fingers crossed we'll find out when I edit this so yeah just like tips and advice for things like that it's so helpful for me and I just want my videos to be as enjoyable as possible for you guys so I do welcome it as long as you're nice about it but yeah I'm gonna end this video here I hope you'll have a lovely rest of the day rest of the week I've got another video coming out on Wednesday so keep your eyes peeled for that I love you all so 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 much and I'll see you in my next video bye Mwah.